Hey guys, it's Destiny, and today we got to know more about our 1.5 characters, which are Hoho, Argenti, and Hanya. Sorry if I sound tired, by the way, I just woke up, but I really wanted to talk about our cutest little munchkin, Hoho, and why she could be an excellent character for many, my first impressions on her, and much more. Let me know in the comments down below, though, from Hoho, Argenti, and Hanya, which one are you the most excited for? And also, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy videos like these. Now, let's get straight into it. First, I wanted to go over what we know about Huo Huo. She is a wind abundance character, which will be our first wind sustaining character, and she has a very unique effect that our current sustains cannot do, which is she's able to regenerate energy for the whole team with her ultimate and booster attack, which kind of gives me the vibe of another Foxian we know. Plus, Huo Huo can restore health for a selected ally and adjacent allies, and when an ally is under the influence of her tail, which is when she uses her skill by the way, he gives them a sacrificial life state, which heals allies at the start of their turns or whenever an ally decides to use their ultimate. Plus, if you use her technique and your allies attack an enemy, there is a chance to also decrease their attack. Woho definitely gives me a harmony plus abundance vibe, and maybe even a little bit of nihility with being able to decrease enemies' attacks, with the potential of course with her technique. I noticed when it comes to her kit though, at least from the kit we know so far, there's definitely similarities to Bailu's kit with the skill healing. Except with Ho Ho, it'll be the selected middle ally and then adjacent rather than how Bailu's healing bounces off of allies, which can mean that Ho Ho will likely have better consistency when it comes to healing your teammates, at least with her skill. We don't know if her ultimate heals just yet, but from the looks of it, there wasn't any confirmation of that in the live stream so far, but it looks like you will want that sacrificial state on your allies. You get healing benefits when a teammate uses their ultimate, and conveniently enough, since she does give energy back to the team, this can help you get your ultimate faster, which means essentially your team will be able to heal themselves with that sacrificial state onto them. As for design, Ho Ho has such an adorable design, and I really want to know more about her tail and also the lore behind her tails and she looks awesome. What do you guys think though? Do you guys think she has a really cute design or are you just not the biggest fan of it? When it comes to her value on team comps though, I can see her being an incredibly supportive character because of the buffs she gives teams and also of course the healing. The energy restoration for the whole team can honestly be game changing depending on how consistent it is and also allowing for smoother rotations with your characters and if you did hypothetically have Ho Ho with Ting Yun on a team together, then you can have a energy regeneration party. Or maybe it would just be a mini Foxian party. Either way, more energy. I did notice one thing though that could potentially be an issue with how she operates for teams, is that depending on how many turns her sacrificial state from her skill actually lasts, you may have to use her skill pretty often to ensure that that state remains on your allies and this may result in her not actually regenerating skill points very often, in contrast to how a character like Locha is basically a skill point generator. And what we know so far, you only really get this benefit from her skill being used on allies, which means she may want to take usage of skill points more often. Of course, we'll see once we know more information, of course, or once she's here, but those are my initial thoughts when it comes to how she may operate. What's nice though is that Hanya may be nice since her infliction of the burden state can help your team regenerate skill points, which might become a good synergy overall, we'll just have to wait and see. I could see Ho Ho being an excellent option though as a sustain for your teams though, especially because of the energy regeneration. Because if you get the energy back at the right times, this could potentially extend the character like Jingli use Mara struck state with that additional energy for just a hypothetical example and also just allow your team to use their ultimate more often, which in turn just results in your team either getting more buffs, more damage off, and just overall, it sounds pretty good. Lastly though, I did want to go over her future value and potential. I could see her being an incredible character for everyone's teams, and I'm personally pretty excited for her. Her future value majority sustains have been really good patches later. For example, Locha is still an excellent option for many teams, Gushwin recently came out and she's pretty awesome too. Japard is great. The list goes on. Our sustaining characters have been so good, especially with how the game has been doing. I feel like sustaining characters are always a plus in a way. 
So once again, like that additional sustain in your account, especially one that can regenerate energy and increase the team's attack while also healing them is a huge benefit and also awesome for longevity in your account. I feel like it could be pretty good, hypothetically. You can also look at maybe making a wind kind of team now because we have wind DPS characters. We also now have Ho-Ho, which will be our sustaining wind character. And I think overall, she'll be a really cool character to possibly consider because of what she's going to do. And I can see her maybe being really good, especially in the future when it comes to, okay, let's say you really want additional energy. Or of course, since we can't have two Ting Yuns on each side of a team, for like MOC, for example, you can't have two Ting Yuns. So Ho-Ho can maybe make up for that energy that you wouldn't get from Ting Yun. Of course, I doubt that Ho-Ho will be able to give as much energy as Ting Yun. Otherwise, that would be pretty freaking like that. That would be a lot of energy. I don't think it'll be to that degree of energy. I'm sure it'll still be a really good amount, a sizable amount that could, of course, make a difference whether or not maybe it's an additional attack worth of energy, whatever it may be. I think this will just be really good for enabling a lot of teams to do maybe new things or rather way more synergies with teams to be able to use their ultimates more often because honestly ultimates are a huge thing and a huge part of the game so of course getting them as frequent as possible is usually in your best benefit so when it comes to that i think she'll definitely be one of our best sustaining characters even just through these initial thoughts just from what we know so far i genuinely think she'll be one of our best characters the only thing of course that worries me is the skill points but We'll have to wait and see if that is accurate or if that's going to be the case. If it's not the case though, then that's pretty nice if she is still more skill point positive. But once again, we'll have to definitely wait and see for that. That'll be all for my thoughts on her though. Let me know if you guys are excited for her or if you plan to skip her. I'll be discussing our other new characters soon in separate videos and giving my thoughts on them. I hope all of you enjoyed this video though. And if you did, make sure to subscribe and leave a like to support the video. I hope you all have a great one like always. Peace.